Hello everyone, I don't know cons, and today I'll be showing you how to add a PBR texture to your game. Now, these are a few textures I have uploaded. As you can see, they look really nice, and it's a great alternative for using textures. And what I mean by that is the actual texture. These things. I don't like using these. But yeah, let's get this short tutorial on the way. So, what we want to do first is we want to press the view tab at the top right click in an empty space and press material manager and as you can see here are all the materials currently in your game so now we have this up let's go find a material um, I'm gonna use freepbr.com though you could really use anything you could use paid ones you could use free ones though I do recommend looking at licensing if you're looking to make like a hardcore game, but honestly, I don't think they would mind it if they're free. Just make sure you're being safe with that stuff. No, don't use copyrighted shit. Okay, so yeah, now we're here. We want to find something that suits our fancy. Let's go with concrete and etc. Let's find something we like. Okay. So, this looks like a really good texture for a road, and I'm making a sort of city game. So, this is what I'm going to upload. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. So, you'll have all these options if you're on freepbrtextures.com. You'll have Unity, UE, BL. Ignore these two, and only go for the BL. Always go for the one named BL. Sometimes it might be up here, sometimes it'll be right here, sometimes it'll be right here. Always go for BL. Okay, you download it. Okay, and when the download is complete, you could put it in a folder of your choosing. I'm going to just. Where is it? There we go. And I'll just clear this out. It's this is just for easy access. You don't have to do it this way. No. No my other shit. <laughs> my Minecraft plugins and such. So we want to upload the PNGs, extract it from the fold, extract it from the zip file and put it in the folder. You won't need all of these, but just put them all in there. So then you go back to studio, you press the plus over here. And since we're doing concrete, let's look for something to put it under a base material so since it's a type of concrete or type of texture of concrete we'll put it under the concrete okay and we'll name it after this so let's name it pebble yeah I'll just name it pebble as fault if I could spell that correctly fault so for color we're gonna look for the one that says albedo open for met metalness you're gonna look for metallic or metal open for normal you want to find normal it would either say normal dot OGL or just normal so like that one open roughness roughness it's pretty basic and simple it'll be different depending on who you download it from and etc all that cool jazz Oh, pebble. Oh, that didn't type all the way. We'll just do it pebble. But yeah. So now we go to any part, right? And we want to find the parent material. So the thing we put it under. So concrete, material variant, pebble. Okay. Give it a second to load in. Okay, I'm back. It is finally loaded in. That took a second. And this is how it would look. And that's basically it. You could do anything with it. You could stretch it. Probably union it. Nah, unioning doesn't work. Does it? Oh, it does. Okay, you just have to reset it. And yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching.